And for decades now, Myanmar, formerly known as Burma, has been under brutal military rule. Recently, President Obama announced plans to lift sanctions against the country because of moves toward democracy. And Denver 7's Adam Hammond introduces us to a group of refugees shifted here because of that oppression and how a local businessman is helping them get on their feet. Inheriting a family business isn't easy. It's a lesson James Reuter learned the hard way. It wasn't the easiest thing as a, as a young man and, and, and trying to figure out what I thought was important and how I thought the business should grow. Reuter's dad started Eleanor Pallet back in the 70s with dreams of being an entrepreneur. That dream turned into a nightmare. Massive turnover rates put his business on the brink. At a time when most would panic, Reuter went to Peru turning to his faith by taking part in this mission trip. My revelation was that, um, that this business doesn't belong to me, that I consider this a kingdom business, and that it actually belongs to God. And I've got a responsibility to do something with it. So Reuter took a very different approach at work. He decided to start hiring refugees from Burma, looking for work in the U.S. as their family members were being executed at home. There are around 80 Burmese workers here at the company right now, and they left their home country because of religious persecution, but by working here, they can once again have the religious freedom they so desire. Hung Ki is one of Reuter's employees now, but he remembers a far darker time in a refugee camp. We are hopeless our life, and then our fam my family, my children, that's also hopeless. Hung Ki says that hopelessness is gone because of educational opportunities like the classes LNR is now providing refugees. They offer English classes to employees almost every day. What is the zip code? These workers arrived in the U.S. with nothing, but the lessons and the jobs are changing the future for their families. Aki started here on the production floor, but has worked his way up to supervisor. Well, America is top number one country, so I think better for my children, you know, so they be very good for future day life. Hearing that is more important to Reuter than his bottom line. So he no longer passes out paychecks without knowing his employees on a personal basis. You know, now we encourage people to bring in their dirty laundry, spread it out on the table, and we'll sort through it with you and find out where you're struggling. Merkui Ju did that and turned his financial situation around. They were helping us to find a house, and we got a better house with a better deal, so we paid less than what we used to pay. Reuter says the jobs, classes, and mentoring are an investment, but it's also had a surprising effect on his business. He now has self-reliant, confident workers striving to reach their full potential, and it's changed the entire office culture and driven up profits. And that massive turnover rate has been slashed by 250 percent. Reuter chalks this up to being a byproduct of doing the right thing and is challenging more companies to think beyond the bottom line. I'm Adam Hammond for Denver 7.